One final one, this is an interesting one too, is yes. Anchor Capital. We put this one in, it's not the biggest in this space. There are a couple of others like Peregrine and others we left out for today, but mm. people love to talk about Anchor because it's a recent listing. It's quite visible and high profile. Mm. Uh, here on CNBC Africa, there's a show where uh, some of its execs come on and talk as well. Yeah. Peter Armitage is the main man there though. Market cap, 2.2 billion Rand. It's been buying up businesses across the market. Yes. And that's also added to quite a rapid increase in assets under management that the group has. Mm. Price to earnings ratio, two, not two, 23.03. Dividend yield, 2.60%. Mm. So it's sort of stabilized, been on the market long enough. Yeah. Let's have a look at the chart though, because you can see it, we had one hell of an exciting start and got as high as 18 Rand. That's actually only a one year chart. I think yeah. if we had a three year chart, you'd see it's had a big you know, step there on the left, but yeah. lately it's had a bit of a battle. So why is that? Is it sort of people getting sobering up and realizing that it wasn't going to go up every day? Yeah, well, that, that's it. There was a huge hype around the listing. I mean, mm. I think they came to market around two rand and then it went up very quickly. Two issued more 18. shares. Yeah. So there you go. So, so if you didn't own this thing, people thought you're a fool. Yeah, What's correct. Wrong Look, with you? it was hard to get stock <laughs> in the initially. Um, but yeah, there was, there was a lot of hype about it. Very, very talked, um, you know, very charismatic CEO and Peter Armitage um, and good team. You know, they've got mm. 150 people. Good young dynamic team. And, you know, very, very professional in that regard. So yeah, you know, they, they've, they've built the business for scale and they, you know, they've now got, I think it's 45 billion of assets. Yes, but apparently if you exclude minority interests in some of the businesses yes. they bought. So the assets under management are a bit less than that. Yes, And their they are. market cap to uh, assets under management ratio is still quite high compared to Coronation. So it's still Correct. a little bit elevated, it seems, in terms yeah, of Yeah, it, it needs to grow into it, uh, I would think. Um, but yeah, they, they grew by acquisition. So, so they, as you said, they bought the Capricorn estate and Capricorn yes. fund managers, yes. um, one Carl or two other. investments, other bits and pieces similar to Correct. this. Portfolio yeah. Bureau in Cape Town. Yeah. Um, that's up, what was that? Yeah, Portfolio Bureau in Cape Town. Look, where, where they're focusing now is, is, the, is they've kind of built these assets together, but now they're focusing on performance of their funds because obviously they want to channel as many investments mm. through well-performing um, collective their investments. Funds have done well. Yeah. They, they have done well. I mean, they've been in the top and they want to get their distribution going. So they kind of built the model now and they've got money flowing mm. through it and they want to scale that up to make it justified. So we've been talking so freely here, we've run out of time. Yes. So like, do you like them? You want to buy them at this level? Um, no, I, I think you might be able to get to them at a, at a better level. I like the model, I like mm. the team. Um, yeah, maybe maybe just slightly rich at the moment. Okay, I'm going to echo that, which yeah. I've been saying for yonks and ever in a day. So that's again a little bit chicken hearted on my part, <laughs> but not hot on anchor. Okay.